It is high noon on February 7, 2011, and the Monday edition of the Daily Journal is upon the streets. Mike Fry here with Nicole Leonhardt. Nicole, six days now since that big blizzard first hit. You can still feel the impact of it. The snow's everywhere. And guess what? Months from now, we'll still be feeling the impact of this uh, blizzard, and in a good way. Do you know anything about that? You know, I heard that the snow might actually be good for the soil. Is there any truth to that? That's correct. Farmers out there, including my good friend Dean Schaefer of Shabance Ag Service, say that this blanket of snow currently on the ground will moisten the ground. When harvest came around, it was very dry. It remained dry, but now the snow is going to moisten things up, and the growing conditions should be ideal come spring, which I like because that means that good sweet corn and those delicious tomatoes come August. And it'll look really nice. We'll be back to green instead of this gray and white winterness. Oh, it isn't true. Despite that gray and white winterness that you call it, <laughs> you were out in it yesterday, and so were about 300 other people. Tell us about that, Nicole. I was. It was a um, pretty chilly day. It was snowing, but there were still over 300 people participating in a 5K run out uh, in Small Park. And there was a, you know, the conditions weren't great. There was a little bit of snow on the road, but they all you know, took on the run anyways, and the winner of the run actually had uh, more of an obstacle than the snow. He had a pre-existing heart condition, so pretty cool. That's 24-year-old Kyle Dockmeyer of Wilmington, uh, had heart surgery five years ago, now he's out there a competitive racer. Really an inspirational story. You know what else is inspirational, uh, Nicole? Dennis Yonka, whether he is doing the weather as he's getting ready to do, writing stories, or teaming with his uh, wife, Terry, to bring in a crock pot full of taco uh, meat to the uh, journal office. He is an inspirational man. So let's see what he has to say about the weather. All right. Uh, hi, this is Dennis Yonka here in the weather office at the Daily Journal. I have your AccuWeather forecast today, and it's not very good. You might want to bundle up before, you, uh, before I go any further. Go ahead. Put your coat on. All right. Now, 28 is a high today and a low of 2. And that too will look good later this week. Tomorrow we'll have a high of 10 and a low of minus 3. And Wednesday it's double eights. A high of 8, a low of minus 8. And so uh, as long as you're bundled up, let me tell you about some of my notes. I'm talking to a man from Antarctica for a story that might run uh, later this week. He tells us that we have to remember that uh, we have two things going on in our body. Uh, shivering which is a very inefficient way of using your muscles, but does create five times more heat than just standing still. So remembering, if you're shivering, it's not all bad. But it doesn't sound good. And the other thing he wants you to remember is when you get goosebumps, that's an old habit that works real good on other animals, a Maine Coon or a Siberian Husky, but our hair is just a little bit too thin. And all we're trying to do is bristle up our hair like animals do. But it doesn't work for us. So when you're shivering, it's sort of working. When you got goosebumps, it's not doing anything for you. So why don't you just stay inside, stay out of the cold, and uh, I'll do the same. Let's get back to the newsroom. Nicole, we are back, and the Super Bowl was played last evening. The Packers defeat the Steelers 31-25, to and they're the world champions. And you, being a Wisconsin native, have to be a happy person this morning. I am. It's so good to see all my friends from back home who are really excited. You know, my parents are excited. Everyone was excited, so... Yes, Chris Breach and other uh, journal staff are oh, yeah. also excited, the big Packers fan. It was a good ball game, good hard-fought game at the end. Now, here's the thing. Season's over. There's a labor dispute in the NFL between the players and the owners. So the chance they could lock out of camp in the summer and maybe not even play next season. You millionaires, you players and owners, get it together. Don't mess up a good thing. It would be a shame. I'm not going to say a travesty, but a shame if the Bears didn't return to Olivet Nazarene University for a training camp, something they've done for nearly 10 years. I mean, fresh off that NFC North Championship, NFC finalist. Oh, we can't have this happen. So just take it from me. You guys need to work it out and get this great spectacle the NFL up and running again next year as it should be. Yeah, we don't want to see what happened with the NHL a few years ago where they just took a year off happened with the uh, NFL. Can't happen. No good. I mean, fans have a long memory. I'm not going to say they won't come back, but they will remember it. So just get it worked out and get back on that field. Sound good? I think so. Okay. Well, that'll do it for the news at noon. For today, you can subscribe to the Daily Journal by calling 815-937-3322, and you can also pick it up on the newsstand. So until tomorrow... Stay informed and stay warm. In the interest of full disclosure, yes. I'll tell you that I am sick.